Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is DMR Games, and today I'm going to be showing you a very quick build that I have made for The Sims Freeplay's 10th birthday, uh, which I just want to say congratulations The Sims Freeplay team because I know that is such a huge milestone and I'm genuinely so happy for you because I know that you are probably very excited as well because I know I am. So I just want to say congratulations and thank you for making such an awesome game. If you're following my Twitter page, you'll know that I posted a picture a couple days ago saying that only OGs remember this house and it was the original Sims Free Play starter house that you got when you first started a game. And that got so much positive feedback. You guys are amazing. I was not expecting that at all. That definitely made my day because I remember just waking up being like, whoa. So it definitely did make my day. So thank you guys so much. You guys are so great. So what I have done is I actually rebuilt that starter house in my town right here. It's this one right here. Like I said, it's a definitely, it's a small build and you can easily recreate this. Um, and I will show the stuff at the end for you to recreate it. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. And it is currently snowing because of the a Christmas warming quest. Um, I'm falling a little bit behind. I need to get to work on that quest. Yeah, it's definitely um, a very uh, busy quest because constantly checking in on my game to get those tasks done. But anyways, here is the house. So let's start from the exterior. You have that nice green roof with the white wood panels on the side. And then you have the classic pine tree that's right there. And then you cannot forget the iconic bench area in the backyard. This was my favorite part of probably of the whole house was this little bench area, especially because like if your Sims weren't doing anything, they would either go in the living room and sit down or they would come out here and sit down on the bench outside. I loved that so much. Um, and I definitely wanted to make sure everything was perfect. So here is that little bench area. And then yeah, let's get to the interior. So once you reach the front door, when you come inside, you'll immediately, I'm sure a probably, probably a lot of you right now are getting hit with a huge wave of nostalgia because I know I did when I was building this house. So when you come in here, you have this little living room area, a little kitchen area, and a little small dining room area. I don't know if I would consider it a dining room um, just because it's just one table and one chair. But keep in mind that this house is not supposed to be something really huge. I was trying to go for exactly what it looked like when you first start a fresh new Sims game back then. Because this starter house is not a thing in today's version of the game. In the newer versions of the game, uh, the starter house is totally different. There's new rooms and stuff like that, better furniture. I think you get like three star furniture and stuff like that. But that is what I was trying to go for was just when you start a fresh brand new Sims game. So that's why there's a lot of uh, a lot of important furniture missing like stoves and stuff like that. But you have this classic brown couch here with the TV right here. And then you have the small little kitchen area over there that does not have a stove because when you first start the game, you all know that you play the tutorial. And then after the tutorial is when you unlock the breadwinner quest. Uh, which unlocks cooking so you don't have stoves and stuff like that unlocked quite yet So there you have that you have that nice little fridge uh, Sink and that nice looking countertop and then you have the small dining room area over here That just has one little brown chair uh, just because that's what it looked like when you first started a game because now you get like a whole a full set of dining chairs and tables and stuff like that in the new starter house but that is what you got and then for the flooring and wallpaper when you start a new game uh when you started the new game this room was unfurnished well it had furniture in it but it didn't have any wallpaper or flooring and you had to place some of your own it, uh, during the tutorial but the first version of the tutorial didn't require you to do that and this was the flooring and wallpaper that you got uh, with this house. So I thought that was definitely very interesting. So then you turn around here and into this little bathroom area with the classic white tiles and the green tile wall and you'll notice that there's a toilet missing. That is because uh, during the tutorial, your first ever task in The Sims Replay is to buy and place a toilet, which I think is really funny. But um, so that's why there's no toilet in here because 
keep in mind, I'm going for just a fresh, brand new game, like haven't even completed the tutorial yet. That's what my uh, goal was here. And then you have that sink and then that shower. Those are both one star, I think, but that is what you got. Um, it definitely kind of matches the theme of the bathroom, I'm not gonna lie to you. And also there's no lighting throughout this whole house because again, that was another tutorial task was to add some lighting. Uh, so obviously you didn't have any lighting yet until you have to place it during the tutorial. So then once you're out of the bathroom, you come back in the living room and then you come back into the bedroom with the little brown bed and the brown wardrobe. And then it's very small again, but it's definitely very cozy, which I think is definitely why I like this house just because it's so cozy. It might feel a little cramped to some of you, but um, during the tutorial you have to uh, expand a room, so you can expand the bedroom if you wanted it to be more bigger. And then, yeah, so then you come out here back into the living room, and yeah, it's just a small little three-room house, and but I think it's so cute. So if you're looking to rebuild this house, here's what it looks like. So the living room is six by five tiles, and then the bathroom is three by five, and then the bedroom is four by six. So that is what each room, that is what each room looks like. And then uh, for the window placements, uh, the first window is in the living room right here. It's right in between the TV and the couch right here. And you could also say it is um, on the very last flower on the left. So that is what that, that that's that is where the first window is. And then the second window is right here. Um, it's a two tile window um, and it is right here. It goes right in between the four tile long uh, section of the room. It goes right here. And then the third window is right here. It does not line up with the bed, so keep that in mind. Um, and it goes just one over from lining up with the bed. So. That is definitely very interesting. And those are all the windows in the house. And then for the object placement, here's where everything goes. Uh, so the tree goes right there. The classic pine tree goes right there. And then the, I'm pretty sure that is a silver birch tree. Yes, that is a silver birch tree that goes right here. And then that goes right there. And then the little flower pieces go right in front of the tree right there. And then the bench and fern go right there. And then you have those six uh, flower pieces. Uh, there's three on each side of the door. And then for the roofing, it's just the classic green roof. And then for the exterior walls, what does it look like? What is it called exactly? It is the white weather boards right there. So that is how, this is what the exterior should look like once you are done. And yeah, I'm so proud of this house. It gives me so much nostalgia. I love this house so much. I really just like this house just because it's cozy and it's just the perfect size, especially for like a new game. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like as it is very much appreciated and consider subscribing to the channel. I post mostly Sims content. So if you're in interested in Sims content, then definitely uh, consider subscribing. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later.